I would say they are, they're more they're more open and more, more open. A, a little bit more vulgar, you know, like they are more because in a village they usually have like disco all the time. It's like wild. <laughs> I have been in the village once okay. uh, to my friend. She lived in a village and we came to her to have a party, like to have her birthday, so. and it was wild. When we went there, we had a party, like a village stylish party, like a village party. And for us, it was a shock because everybody got drunk at that level. That is e- even impossible to imagine. They were so drunk. And they, we went to the disco, and then we rode horses at night. Let's Wild make the break. question simple. So, if we take a girl, village girl easy or city girl easy? Of course, of course, the village girl. Of course, oh, it's yeah. much easier to impress her. You just do a little, and oh. she's impressed, and she's like, "Oh, that's the best guy of my life," because she hasn't seen the world. And the city girl, I mean, the real city girl who has born here, uh, they are more. Um, they just need more, like they need some seriousness, some, I know, flowers, presents, uh, uh, attend, attention and all of those. Uh, they, they need a marriage, they need to see that you are serious. And, and the village girl, they are more naive and that's why they are much more easy to pick up. But they are much more kind and they have less this, um, you know, when the person uh, pretends and uh, tries like manners and all that. They are more sincere, sincere and honest and all that. They get married very early. The little chicks are very effective. Yeah. Well, and also another point about village girls, these are why is that easy to impress them? Because the village guys, they are very rude. And if you are a little bit gentle, and that's why, I guess. But and I think most of the village girls cannot speak other language. Group at the university, like four girls from village, and they spoke English very well. Not very, but conservative and principled. <laughs> Those who keep their body for... Mm, until the marriage it's maybe three four percent I guess 4%. yeah like that if they speak English word well, it's totally not very good <laughs> They, are, they were they train to the me, city. No, yeah, I think they already train to the city girls. Oriented, but they, anyway, this is the mentality. And we have such a proverb in uh, Russian language in Ukrainian too. You can uh, take a girl from the village, but you cannot take a village from the girl. The village is still inside in her mentality, and you cannot take it out. Village. But they will see the world. They know something. So it's not naive like before. How do you change the type of children for the city? Do you know how to eat that? Like normally, like in the tradition? I don't, oh, no, 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 it's okay, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Most of the men already get holidays. They go in to the city, to the middle country, to get a job. Many of them, they just get drunk, okay? <laughs> there are so many lonely, <laughs> many girls, women. Usually, village men, they are very rude and they are drinkers, they get drunk. A lot. They drink a lot. There are also some good guys from the village. I have met them. I'll put a microphone here. You have to use this yeah. socks. Yeah. Where are you using glasses? <laughs> You're looking for a product here? Yeah, who knows? Because then I will go and they will say, You didn't say to me hello because I cannot see things. Village, because I know too much people living there, living in Hungary. Who? Uh, in the village. In the village? And uh, maybe some of them only live in there, most of them. Yes. So for the girl, in the end, uh, when they marry to a man, maybe all of the village men fuck them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's very strange. You know? Yeah. But it's okay, I think. It depends also on the village. All the villages, they have their own traditions, their own, like, rumors. But it's very funny. Yeah. So, you know, every single 
guy I got the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> For example, in my granny's village where my granny lived before, it's like all the people fucked each other, you know? It was like crazy. It was crazy. The sexual life in a village. This is just wild. <laughs> It's not that conservative and traditional, it's very wild. So in, the, in, the, in the field? In the Philippines. With a group of people doing something. I don't know. <laughs> That's a really difficult question to ask because they have never taken part in anything of like that. Do you just think? Hmm? Interesting, but I didn't you see that with try? my eyes. Do you want to try? No. <laughs> uh, like a group set. No. Definitely. So how do you think about it, Tempus? What do you think about what? How do you think about it? If I ask you tomorrow to go to a party for Tempus? I would say no. You would say interesting. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't say interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, and then you will cut this video. No, I will. As if, I will, I will kill you. <laughs> as if, as if I answered. Uh, interesting. I can take another part of interesting for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean that. It's like, are you doing interesting? Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> How do you think about? I really need a, maybe more than five men or ten men. It's good thing. Bad thing. For, for my opinion. Yeah. It's a good thing. Because we have to taste it something and you can choose one. For my opinion, yeah, that's normal. Like you have to try different things try, to understand yeah, yeah. what you like. It's like food. Yeah, if you only pick the first one, one hundred percent wrong. <laughs> but some of the girls they really they are sure that it's better. They dream about picking one and be with him all their life. I mean romanticize. So. <laughs> Maybe. So what's the Education for your mother who we'll asked you how much money your mother got. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, please, don't ask me this question. Maybe, maybe, maybe one day we're talking for you. <laughs> With Google Translate. <laughs> you did ask? So she did ask me? You're good friends, right? The other family. They were talking, you know? Maybe she can guess because she might notice when I go for a night somewhere. I didn't have any restriction. She asked her if everything is okay. Tasty. <laughs> Maybe she thinks you're too loud or to speak. No, no. I don't think you're uh, somehow louder than us. <laughs> the girl ate it. And uh, she went out to the night and she died. It's okay for me. It's okay. Yeah. When they start relationships, of course, they can do life. something on the ground, no one knows, but it's, it's not on the ammunition. But now. Um, you mean like the parents no the parents will no she could do it. Yes. so after, uh, the parents have to know the boy no they don't have to know they but have they to have to say like, it depends on the family of course some want to know him but it's not um, so it's okay it's not necessary, the, the, yeah. the parents okay. doesn't care but they they care that everything is okay so they have to know if he's normal or not normal I don't mean meet him but just to answer some information like who is he is he okay and if even for example even if he if he is older than the girl they will be a little bit nervous so they are all the same age so it's better they are same age they <laughs> I have already told you that our people they are very open with their parents I mean they can talk um, because but anyway, fathers, they are, so for example, my father, he all the time, when I meet a guy, he all the time criticizes him. Uh, only criticizes. Criticizes all the time. Only this. Yeah. So it's okay. So did um, you know, to force you to not no, to do no, something? No, he doesn't have any right to do that, actually. <laughs> Maybe so. he would like to force me. Just By the way, I had a situation when my, fa my father, he has a business. And I had a situation that is happens sometimes, not often, but sometimes here, that um, like rich people, they want uh, like 
not arranged marriage, but a little bit arranged. Like, I mean, they push your daughter to some man who uh, who is okay with your, like, maybe son of your business partner. Because I had a situation when my father wanted me to uh, to get married to someone. To, and he forced me so much, so he took me to the dinner with him, and then he left me in the room with him all the time, like that. Just a red, just a red thing is not forcing. Made some pressure on me all the time. Like <laughs> you have to stay here, you have to stay in Moscow, you have to get married to someone I know. But uh, he says it's good for you. It wasn't good for me because the but man was terrible. But he said it's good for you. Yeah. So it's a normal internal. It's so very normal. Well, I was very angry. Relatives will do that. <laughs> Yes, but no, for, for me it's only my father, not my relatives here. They don't do that. So usually the, the, the doctor live with friends until they marry. Yeah. <clears throat> if the girl wanna to live with her boy, wanna to live together, they run the apartment. The rent apartment? They have to discuss it with friends? Mm, no, no, but sometimes as this is like if both people are students or something like that and they live with parents so this is quite popular system that they live together like parents she for example my best friend she lives with his boyfriend and her parents in her house together nevertheless they are 26 already and her boyfriend is 28 who lives together but in the apartment with her parents together all together her parents she her boyfriend they live in two rooms you bring the girl if maybe for a boy to live in together only only to the should they approach this way it's very normal yeah they don't have to discuss with parents of course they have to say that like goodbye <laughs> i go <laughs> and leave other place and uh, you, if the if the couple have some problem their parents will inter interfere interfere or no Depends. It really depends on family. Mostly, if they interfere, these are parents of a man, usually, because our men, they are very close with their mom. Oh. Uh, and their mom, it's like, she. if you live together with your boyfriend and his mom, she will come to you, to your house, and check if it is clean enough, if the food is alright, if you are a good woman, and all of that, That's so pushy. she will check. She would say they suffer, but they accept, because there is no other way. You cannot just take her away. But in China, they have a really big, big problem. Just the girl with the boy's mother is very hard to get along. Yeah, it's, it's the same here. Very hard. It's the same here. Uh, to get a loan for a guy with the girl's parents is never hard. So the girl's parents here, they are very like, okay, okay, just take very, her. Very we don't friendly. care. Just take her away. Because maybe if you don't take her away, nobody will take her away. <laughs> that's like, yeah. yeah, that's that's pretty hard to judge about that actually. No, no for judge, only for your person and uh, me. It's not judge. Everyone have their own. Of course, and yeah. that's... Yeah. I, will, I will write that, only for... <laughs> it's but not... you have to make sure that... Uh, uh, because... Too much pressure. Uh, okay. so,